Hi there, just before the next video starts, I just wanted to mention that you now have an opportunity to do a bit of sponsorship with AJ, yours truly here. Um, so basically everybody's been on at us to get better kit, get better recording equipment, get better visual equipment, to give you a better video quality. And at the end of the day, that's really what we're trying to do all the way along. So I thought the only way we can do this is to set up a Patreon account and a PayPal one-off donation account. So if you fancy offering us a couple of pennies or even a couple of pounds if you're feeling flush, then please go to AJ The Player YouTube channel and on the top right hand side you will find a little button and there's one says PayPal and the other one says Patreon. Um, if you click either one of those you can make a little donation. One's a more regular donation and the other one's a one-off. Um, if you don't have a PC or access to a PC, it's even more simple on your tablet or on your mobile. Just scroll across to the About button on the top there and you'll see immediately there's two little links to either the Patreon or the PayPal account. I really appreciate your time in listening to me. This is not a begging situation. It's just saying, well, if you want to help out, then please feel free to do so. Thanks, and enjoy the next video. Guys, guess what? I am here with none other than David Brabham himself. David, lovely to meet you. Andy. And the Brabham car. Now, if you haven't seen this before, you're going to learn something now. David, tell me about this car. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, uh, thanks, Andy. Yeah, this is the Brabham BT62R. Right, yeah. And the R means the road car compliant of our ultimate track car that we launched a couple of years ago. Okay. And that car was really designed to break lap records, have a driver development program, really just for the track. And nothing the, to do with the road then? Nothing to do with the road, no. Okay. And then people came to us and said, look, you know, can we race it? Can we put it on the road? So we looked into it. Yeah. And uh, here you are. We've now got the road compliant conversion of the, the Brabham BT62 track car. So, uh, yeah, street legal version of it. Street legal version. I love it. I mean, who actually designed this? Did you have a say in the design or was it? Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was obviously a combination of different people that uh, from, from designers for road cars, but also engineers to, to get performance on the track. So the, sure. the, uh, the function and the form needed to be really, um, you know, important in terms of its look. And I think we got a fantastic look out of it. Just uh, a bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we also got incredible performance. You know, when, we, when you think about it, this car, the ultimate uh, track car is uh, 972 kilograms dry weight. Yep. So well under a ton. Yeah. Um, 700 horsepower from a 5.4 liter Brabham V8. <laughs> 1,200 kilos of downforce at uh, like 160 mile an hour. Uh, so it was it was designed to be not only look great but actually really perform on the track. Yeah. And having been a, a racing driver for like 35 years and raced at Le Mans many times and worked yeah. with many drivers. It was really important that we had a car that someone could just jump in and feel comfortable straight away. And is that, were you the test driver of this? Yeah, I, I met myself and uh, we had some others as well that sure. uh, have yeah. different opinions and, and we were obviously interested to hear what they had to say as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, when journalists got into the car, into the track car, you know, everyone has just raved about it and, yeah, yeah. and customers who came in to, to try it just couldn't believe how easy it was to drive at, at speed. So, so um, the it's great to see the evolution now to, to the road car compliance. I was about to say, the evolution from that track car is incredible because yeah. obviously you've had to add a lot of stuff onto this to make it comfortable, um, stuff you wouldn't normally have in a race car. Um, yeah, I mean, not, not too bad. We wanted to keep the, the, the racing kind of DNA in the vehicle. Yeah. And obviously there are some, some comforts as well as some legal stuff that we needed to do as, yeah, as yeah. well. Um, you know, from an aerodynamic point of view, we've had to change the front splitter, the rear diffuser, the rear wing's smaller. You know, everything's kind of gone a little bit more compact. Yeah. And, um, you know, we've got lifters on the front and the rear to, to lift the car up over, you know, over humps. Over speed and humps. Speed humps, exactly. <laughs> um, as well as keeping, keeping it low for when people want to drive it to the track and, and drive it there. So is that the idea of this car, that you can use it as a road car, drive down to the track, yeah. put the slicks on? bang away you go you, you do your set uh, and you, you can you can keep the Goodyear Eagles on as they are because yeah. they, these are a, a, a track and and road type uh, type car uh, type uh, tire yeah. so it's um, the engine that you developed it's the V8 yeah. um, and you know something it's mid mounted I presume yeah it just sits in the back here it's um, it's obviously mid engine and it's yeah. uh, 700 horsepower that drives yeah, yeah. to the rear wheels and um, 
when we developed it, it was off a, an OEM manufacturer, and then they said, you've modified it too much for us, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> you've got to call it something else, so we yeah. call it a Brabham V8. I love it. Well, what better name to give an engine uh, like that? Yeah. I think it's stunning. Um, Where's the car manufactured? Here in the UK? or? Yeah, the company's based in Adelaide, Australia. Oh, in Australia, that, okay. That's, yeah, yeah, that's where the manufacturing is, uh, is happening at, at the moment, yeah. And how many of these are you going to be producing? Yeah, so we're only doing a limited edition of 70 vehicles of the BT62. Right, okay. Uh, with the three different variants, the race car, the, the ultimate track car, and the, the BT62R, which is obviously the, the, the road compliant. Okay. Um, and then we're working on the, the next vehicle. Yeah. Which will be a fully homologated road car. Okay, so there's another yeah. car Yeah, so you'll on. see the, the DNA of this yeah, vehicle yeah, follow yeah. through to, to the next one. So it's nice to see the progression from where we were with the track car yeah. to now putting it on the road, and then next year people will see what we're doing with the, uh, the new road car. Well, I think it's absolutely stunning. Do you mind me asking how much would I have to pay you to take this away today? Uh, this particular one is eight fifty. Okay. Yeah. That's not Plus bad. Plus taxes. I've got, I've got a tenner on it. Yeah, you got a tenner. Yeah. You? If you yeah, want I'm it. not sure that's enough, but. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, we have you another option change. at one point one five if you're if you're interested in that 1. as well. One point one five yeah. million UK. Yeah. I think that's a small price to pay for such a unique car, David. Thank honestly. you. I think it's an absolutely stunning car, and I think, guys, you probably agree with me. It's pretty one-off, isn't it? Same as this gentleman here. Let's go carry on and see what else we can find. Thank you, David, Thanks, for your Andy. time. Really right. appreciate, Cheers, appreciate it. it.